status, Step Audio's MIDI display can display a lot of different types of information. By default, it shows a custom message in response to a program change from a MIDI controller. But status can also display MIDI clock tempo information, either the clock that's generated internally or coming from another controller. And it can also flash the whole screen in time with the tempo. Status can also display MIDI data coming from another device. By default, it shows the control changes only, but if you press the button, you can select notes, real-time information, which is like MIDI start and stop, pitch bend information from a pitch wheel. You can have it display all, but it's usually easier to figure out a problem if you just show the information you need. System messages, which are status text messages, program changes only, and again, control changes only. Press the button again, and now when that information comes into status, that's what you're going to see. We have a separate video showing how that works. You can also decide which screen you want to appear after status powers on. The default is to show the preset name. If you want to change that, we need to go into the globals menu. You get to globals by holding down the button while powering status on. To navigate through the globals, you press down the button. And now where it says startup, this is going to be the screen that shows after status powers on. So the default is program name. BPM, that shows the tempo information with the actual tempo. Flasher, that's where it just flashes the entire screen in time with the incoming tempo. And data display, again, that's if you want to diagnose a MIDI problem or figure out what data is coming into status, use that. Now the next screen is what type of data gets displayed by default. So when you go to that screen, you can select which of the information is going to show up. Press the button again three times and we get to the flashing screen and now this screen lets you choose what type of graphic appears above the tempo. So we have asterisk going across, we have asterisk flashing back and forth, and then we have these spinners. Once you've chosen the one you like, hold down the button and the globals will be saved. Now after status starts up, if you remember, we selected data display. So now that's the startup screen after we power on. You can also change status as globals using our online programmer available at stepaudio.net.